Hello, my name is Ariza Javadian Sabet from Polytechnico di Milano, and I'm presenting the work entitled Conversation Graphs in Online Social Media. On behalf of my co authors, Marco Brambilla and Amin Endosuli Stiawati. In this presentation, after the introduction, I will discuss briefly the state of the art in conversation graphs on social media. Then I will explain the research questions and contributions of this work. I will continue the presentation by discussion on the case study, after which I will detail the proposed methodology and the results of the study. The emergence of social media has profoundly changed the perspective of communication, which resulted in a revolution in the way people interact with each other. In online social media platforms, users can express their ideas by posting original content or by adding comments and responses to existing posts, thus generating virtual discussions and conversations. Reasons of people relying on social media platforms include, but are not limited to, interacting within the inner circle of friendship, entertainment purposes, or subscribing to news. Also, as presented in various work, the use of social media is evolving widely for knowledge sharing purpose on online learning and question answering platforms. Moreover, many companies adopt social media to utilize this growing trend to gain business values. In the following, I list some of the state of the art in conversation graphs on social media. Utilizing graph analysis to better support QA systems. Exploring classification methods for recovering the reply structure in forum threads. Reconstructing complete conversations around initial tweets. Predicting the popularity of comments on Reddit discussions. Generation of basic conversation structure to explore the model that humans follow during online conversations. And investigating the impact of threading the messages instead of linearly displaying them. The research questions addressed in this work are as follows. First, how to define appropriate graph models representing conversations on social media. Second, how to reconstruct complex conversations and structures when they are not explicitly tracked by the social network platforms. Third, how to assign alter intentions to posts and comments in the conversations. And the last research question is, how to identify recurrent discussions patterns in conversation graphs. The proposal of this work is to offer a graph-based view on the discussion between social media contributors and to rate three popular patterns on online conversations using network-based analysis. The proposed solution consists of three main stages, intent analysis, network generation, and pattern identification. We tested the proposed methodology on a real long-running live event, that is, a game challenge developed for Expo Milano 2015. The game was based on Instagram posts, which are tagged by specific hashtags published every week by the event. During the whole challenge cycle of nine weeks, we collected a large dataset containing more than 15,000 photos and 600,000 actions, including near 100,000 comments, thanks to the engagement of more than 80,000 participants. Let's start with the intent analysis. User's intention described within the posts and comments is detected using the following pipeline. Initially, a list of category names is defined using popular keywords based on a set of bag of words. When the label names are set, Keyword-based classification is performed to put a class label on each social media comment representing its meaning. Naive bias and support vector machine algorithms are then employed to improve the categorization process on the remaining uncategorized comments. A continuous human-in-the-loop approach further improves the keyword-based classification. The method categorizes 90% of the comments with 98% accuracy on the case study. The following table presents the bag of words in the form of their base as well as the number of occurrences. 
Observing words represented in the bold form is interesting where each of them represents a different intention which will be discussed in the following slide. With the subjective assumption, we conclude that the suitable categories for Instagram contents associated to the case study data are as follows. Thank, congratulation, agreement, positive, invitation, food, greeting, question, hashtag, and other. The hashtag category denotes the type of comments that only contain words started with hash that may intend to a specific information. The other category appoints to Instagram comments which cannot be assigned to any other class. The reason for selecting those 10 categories instead of a general sentiment analysis composed of positive, negative, and neutral is because we perform analysis on the data from social media challenge that has engaged a significant number of users. In this study, we want to determine their intention and opinion about the game. We expect with more categories would come the better understanding. In the following slides, I will describe the network generation step of the proposed methodology. To understand the user's communication patterns, we build conversation graphs starting from the hierarchical structure of posts and comments using a directed multigraph network composed of 462,000 nodes and 1.5 million edges. The figure on the left presents a general social network design representing relationships among all components, such as posts, users, comments, locations, etc. The figure on the right displays a graph illustration of posts on social media. The past destination is needed, for instance, to describe the relationship between comment nodes within a conversation and to track which comment sequence. This is the reason for designing a directed multigraph for this study. Meanwhile, a multigraph is selected since there are possibly multiple edges connecting two nodes. Attributes of each node and edge from the graph depict the information needed for our analysis. Finally, the generated graph is stored in a, in a graph file to be used for the analysis. The figure on the left visualizes three posts, shown as the blue centers of the clusters, and associated relevant nodes that are users, comments, hashtags, location, and so on. The figure on the right shows the results of the intent analysis over the conversation about a specific photo. A reply edge connects one comment to one or more comments. These relationships portray the opinion exchange between the users. In the rest of presentation, I will present some of the results that we obtained. The experiment is performed on 15,343 Instagram photos related to the case study. The presented table shows the statistical analysis of the collection of all comments and retrieved conversations. The analysis consists of the number of comments for each photo, the number of conversations retrieved per photo, and the number of comments, that is the membership, for each conversation. As we can see, the number of comments ranges from 0 to 328. If we exclude the photos with no comment, the average number of comments is 7. If we include a comment with no relationship with other comments, the maximum number of conversations extracted in all photos is 177. On average, the size of conversations is two nodes. From all conversations in all photos, we obtain that the most extended uh, conversation is a conversation with the highest size, that is 93 nodes. The following figure displays the number of conversations that occurred in all posts. X-axis is the conversation size and Y-axis indicates the number of conversations in each conversation size. Please note that the Y-axis is not scaled. A single comment that does not have a relation with any comment has the highest frequency. 
conversations composed of two nodes are the most prevalent among all conversations. As we can see, the frequency decreases gradually as the size of the conversation increases, and most of the long conversations only occur once. Since the purpose of this work is to understand social media's communication behaviors related to the challenge, we are interested in studying long conversations in popular photos. Thus, we first perform our analysis on the photos with at least 30 comments. The following plot describes the spread of intent categories. As we can see, positive and 10 comments dominate, dominate all conversations. Two other intent classes that appear almost in all variations of conversation size are greeting and question types. Comments with invitation and agreement intention are slightly expressed in most conversations, whereas congratulation comments are only mentioned in some discussions. And as expected, thank is not stated in solo conversations, which is most likely in a real discussion. Additionally, hashtag comments generally appear in single comments. In longer discussions, use users participate in the challenge generally talk about compliments, gratitudes, and salutations. Considering such online conversations, by investigating the figure, one might conclude that by increasing the conversation size, the portion of most of the categories will be dominated by a fewer number of categories. In the end, food is the third significant topic mostly carried out in discussions. However, it is barely mentioned in large conversations. The second type of conversation analysis is described using all photos that have comments between 7 and 29. In this analysis, the same as previous analysis, tank and positive categories dominated the overall conversations. The main difference with respect to the previous analysis is that the discussions related to the food category have been increased. Similar to the previous analysis, agreement, congratulation, and invitation categories appear in low frequency. The variety in the number of comments for each conversation drives another idea in the time analysis. We would like to know if the time and length of conversations are correlated or not. This figure displays the number of conversations with respect to the size, that is, the number of comments and duration that is the elapsed time. The calculation is done by subtracting the latest posted comment time and the first comment time. Durations range from less than five minutes until longer than one week. We were expecting that smaller conversations would take less time than longer ones. However, the result contradicts our assumption in general. According to the figure, we can conclude that Mostly smaller discussions possibly have a longer duration. Conversations with 2 to 10 comments have all ranges of duration, while conversations composed of more than 10 comments tend to narrow the duration. It shows that long discussions with conversation size greater than 10 do not take a duration of less than 15 minutes. It is clearly stated that the users involved in the discussions Need, to, need time to write a comment reply. Another proof states that longer conversations do not take more than one day to end the discussion. For instance, a conversation that involves 93 comments takes time between 12 and 24 hours. In conclusion, the small discussions can take a longer time to finish, while more extended conversations lead to finish discussion within 24 hours. The next analysis is to identify relevant patterns in terms of content. Results show that the most popular online discussion patterns obtained from conversation graphs resemble real-life interactions and communication. The table illustrates a heat matrix that details the occurrences of each combination of intents in the case of two node patterns, that is, one comment followed by another. The matrix columns represent the intent of the initial comment, while the rows represent the intent of a comment that replies to the initial one. As we expected, the results indicate that 
the most popular pattern created in two node is tank positive. In other words, a gratitude action is generally expressed after a compliment. Similar rational behaviors which uh, frequently happened are tank tank, positive positive, positive greeting, tank invitation, and so on. These virtual char uh, characters imitate real world communication manners. It also reveals less popular combinations that most likely do not happen in direct communication, such as expressing agreement after a congratulation comment, or congratulation after someone saying an invitation, or even asking a question to someone who gives congratulation. The other less possible pattern is hashtag comment used to reply to any other types of comments. In conclusion, with combinations of all intentions labels on two linked comments, we can obtain digital communication behavior that similarly adapts real-life conversation. Both most and least popular patterns are likely to happen also in daily communication. Therefore, in the next stage of our analysis, we want to know how far we can expand the length of conversation paths. The expansion method is initiated by selecting the most popular patterns. In this case, we selected intent combinations that have more than 1,000 occurrences. They are including tank positive, positive positive, tank tank, tank food, and tank greeting. As we can see, the results show that the top pattern is tank tank positive. It replicates direct communication when a person says a compliment comment to their partner. Then the partner replies to express their gratefulness. Afterward, most likely, the first person replies with another gratitude comment. Other popular patterns are reasonable as well. However, the number of occurrences decreased significantly from the most popular one. From the retrieve patterns, we select top ones composed of three and four nodes to perform temporal analysis and analyze the number of users involved in discussions. In the first analysis, our idea is to find how long a user takes time to write a reply comment. We pick tank tank positive pattern that has 1,254 occurrences in the whole conversation graphs. This figure displays the diversity of reply times. The first part of the chart shows the time needed for the last comment to reply the previous one, and the second part is duration of the second comment to reply the first comment. We observe that the reply time for the second comment to the first one mostly takes less than five minutes, as well as the period needed for the third comment to answer the second one. However, some users need more than one week to reply to a comment. On average, the time needed for the, for the second comment to reply to the first one is from 12 to 24 hours, and the required period of the third comment to answer the second one is between 6 and 12 hours. The second analysis is applied to the top patterns with four nodes, tank, 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 positive. The result shows that the time needed for the second comment to reply the first comment varies in the range of five minutes to more than a week. However, in other cases, for the third comment to answer the second one and the fourth comment to react to the third comment, the period taken is generally less than five minutes. On average, the second comment takes six to 12 hours to respond to the previous comment. The third comment requires 30 minutes to one hour to answer the, the second comment, and the fourth comment needs three to six hours to react to the third comment. Another thing that interests us is how many users are involved in the conversations. We analyze the top patterns with three nodes as well as four nodes and sum up the number of users that join the discussions. Overall, two users participate in the conversations, and in some cases, three and four users have taken part in, this, in the discussions. In conclusion, it is a natural behavior that when a compliment is presented at the beginning of the talk, 
and the following responses are all gratitude expressions, the number of people who talk is two. This generally indicates that the first person expresses a positive opinion, then the second person says uh, their gratitude, afterwards the first person responds the comment, and so on. In conclusion, by identifying the relationships among all comments on a social media post, the proposed methodology retrieves the discussions and constructs the conversational graphs. Also, by mining the constructed conversation graphs, the method identifies the popular conversation patterns. From one side, the patterns provide interesting insights into the social media users' preferences and behavior. On the other side, they can be used for designing conversational agents. In this slide, you can find the list of references discussed in this presentation. Thanks for the time and attention. Please do not hesitate to contact us for any questions and suggestions.